We kick things off with Bitcoin, the only money that doesn't have slaveholders on it. One of the advantages of cryptocurrency was supposed to be how it was secure from theft. And I would explain why, but instead, just uh, ask that one dude at the next party you go to. He'll be very happy to go into great detail. But despite the super security of crypto, there have unfortunately been some major crypto heists over the years. And the same technology that makes it hard to steal also makes the perpetrators extremely hard to catch. Hard, but not impossible. This morning, the Justice Department announcing the largest single seizure of funds in the department's history. Investigators say hackers broke into an online currency exchange back in 2016, stealing 120,000 Bitcoin, which at the time was worth $71 million. But today, it's worth a staggering $4.5 billion. Ilya Lichtenstein and his wife, Heather Morgan, are charged with laundering Bitcoin tied to the hack using thousands of small transactions and accounts set up with fake IDs. Holy shit, four and a half billion dollars in stolen Bitcoin. This is huge. You realize, you realize there's 330 million people in the United States, and that's $4.5 billion. So that means you could give each person in the US 10, if you, five, You could give everyone some money. And by the way, you might think that everyone who uses Bitcoin would be happy that the police were able to track down this stolen crypto, but it turns out no. It turns out a lot of the crypto community actually took this as bad news because cryptocurrency is supposed to be anonymous. And if the FBI can trace Bitcoin to someone who might have stolen it, what's to stop them from tracking innocent people who are just using Bitcoin to buy heroin and automatic weapons? This is scary stuff. But where some people see a problem, I like to see opportunities, which is why, my friends, I've created a new form of currency that is totally anonymous and completely untraceable. And it comes with just a little bit of cocaine on it. So if you're interested, I'm gonna be selling these on my website for $50 each. I think it's a steal. Now, you're probably wondering, who are the criminal geniuses? who are part of one of the biggest financial crimes in history. Well, you know when they say you should never meet your heroes? Yeah, this is why. Lichtenstein, a U.S. and Russian citizen, is described in a profile online as a tech entrepreneur. And according to Morgan's social media profiles, she's a serial entrepreneur and a part-time rapper. In one of her songs, Morgan calls herself the infamous crocodile of Wall Street. I'm many things, a rapper, an economist, a journalist, a writer, a CEO. I know what you're thinking. The Bitcoin crimes are nothing compared to calling this shit rap. What was that? A rapper, an economist, a ju Yo, rap is not just like saying wor- What is that? And also, even if you are a rapper, you know it's never a good sign for your rap career when you're listing all your other jobs in a song. You're just a rapper. This person's running around like, yo, 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 this definitely doesn't pay the bills. I have to do a bunch of other things because as you can tell, no one would pay for this. And this wasn't a once-off crime, by the way. The rap video, not, not the money. This woman, it turns out, has been spitting wet fire everywhere that she's been given a chance. Motherfuckers, hodo, what I gotta do? Yodo, our mission is noble. Yeah, wanna be a mogul. My tindy's going global. Build an empire, Constantinople. You mean Istanbul? Get icy like Froyo, all gotta stay vocal. Bitcoin, Ethereum, HODO. AMC, GameStop, YOLO. Please, Jesus, I beg you, no more. Like, what, what is she, which rap is she listening to that she thought that that was a reference for rap? That's what I wanna know. Like, where was she listening to rap and she's like, I could do that. I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing. No, no, yo, yo. What if you're sitting next to her in a room? What are you thinking? Are you okay in there? Here's a tip, kids, if you wanna look cool while doing your rap, don't read your lyrics off to the side. Practice and learn the thing, because otherwise it sort of eliminates your swag. The whole time she's like doing this to catch the next rhyme. That's ditto. You can't do that, no rapper would have succeeded. Can you imagine if Tupac was reading his rhymes off on the side? You claim to be a player, but I'm just, screw, sorry guys, screwed your wife. We bust on a bad, can we get a, can we get a, a different font?